Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com, and here on YouTube you know me as what? Epic Fantasy, that's right. This is my latest tutorial. This is a classic foam board sword tutorial. You know I love these. I've done maybe 50, 80, 100 of them. Um, and this one is the Connor McLeod Highlander Sword. Nice. See? Got some nice decorations there. Can you see that? I give you this so you can, you know, print it up and glue it onto your sword. You don't have to do the drawing. But if you want to do the drawing, go right ahead. But I also give you the template to make it very easy for you to make this sword. You print up the template and use it to cut out your foam board. Um, doesn't take a lot. Two pieces of foam board, some glue, a um, little bit of paint, and a knife to cut the foam board with. So let's do the uh, introduction and then we will do how to make the Highlander broadsword of Connor McLeod. Thank you. Nice project. Diorama is origami, catapults and treasure chains, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees and paper games, swords and shields and real blacksmithing, model boxes, animation. I teach you how to feel creation. StormTheCastle.com. Let's make something. Okay, let's take a look at the materials you're going to need to make this project. First, two sheets of foam board. You can buy the foam board in Walmart. You can order it online through Amazon. I'll put a link. If you want a really, really strong sword, get Elmer's foam board. That's the best. It's a little more expensive, but it's really good. Okay, and something to glue, some kind of glue. I'm going to use a glue gun. Brown paint and silver paint. If you don't have silver paint, gray paint will work just fine. A knife to cut the foam board. Of course, a paintbrush. And maybe some pens or fine line markers to do some detail work. And also something called a smudge stick, if you've got one. Or a tortillon. It's called a tortillon. I'll show you later. And the template, which you can download on my website. I have a link to this template. Gives you everything you need, including the artwork. And there's not a lot to it. This is an easy. This is an easy to put together project. I'll have you. Um, if you're going to make this project, I'll have you put it together. It, it'll be a snap for you. But you print up that template. It's free, and cut out the various pieces. Now I only show you um, one here of this cross piece, but there's actually you need two. And same with that medallion, that like half circle medallion. You need two, so cut it out. And if you want to do the straight edges. Cuts nice and clean. Use a ruler, but don't use a plastic ruler. Your knives, knives, you, knives usually get stuck in the plastic. Can be uh, cause an accident. If you got a metal ruler, use a metal one for cutting. But anyway, there's six pieces plus two more uh, extra sets of ornaments for the other side of the sword. So let's put together the template, and we're going to use this to mark up the foam board. Three pieces make up the sword blade like this, place them together, try to get it nice and straight. I'll show you with my hand here what I mean, nice and straight. This mine is a little bit off there. And once you get it nice and straight, tape it together. And then do the same with the handle, two pieces. Get it nice and straight and then tape those two pieces together. And the reason why it's not one whole big template is because it wouldn't fit on a piece of foam board. So we make a couple of different templates. You'll see. But like I said, nice project. You can have this done in no time at all. And you can have some creative fun with it. You could use my medallion there or you can make your own. So we'll start with the blade template, place that on your foam board. If need be, trim it down. I gotta check the I, I didn't check the template. If need be, trim it down a little bit on the tip edge so it'll fit on your foam board. 30 inches. Which is a pretty good size for a sword. Put a few little pieces of tape on it to hold it in place and then trace it. Would that be correct? Tracing it? You call it tracing it when you go around the edge of something? Trace around it. Make three of those blade pieces and then do the same thing on a new sheet of foam board. Trace the handle part and make three of those. There we go, three handle pieces. And three sword pieces and our two medallions. 
So we're ready to put this, cut it all out and put it all together. But let me give you a tip on cutting foam board. If you have trouble cutting foam board, this is what you do. You make three passes. The first pass cuts the top piece of paper. The second pass cuts the foam. The third pass cuts through the bottom layer of paper. And that's, that's a better way to uh, cut foam board if you have trouble. See, You have more control. It's, it's less tearing. So I love this hobby knife. I've been using this one for years. See how it's got the handle on the back. It's very um, comfortable in my hand. I'll put a link to the to this knife, this Exacto hobby knife, in the description of this video if you want to get one too. But look, I like this how you can tighten it from the bottom. It's safer. A lot of Exacto knives you got to tighten them up at the top towards where the blade is. That can cause accident. Well, anyway, let's cut out those pieces. And take your time. There we go. That looks good. Now let's glue it all together. Three handle pieces, one right on top of the other. But be careful when gluing stacks like this because there can be a wrong way and a right way. Check it for fit first, flip and flip it over if need be. If they don't seem to be stacking on top of each other right, it's probably because you got one or the other um, flipped over accidentally. So just check it all first and make sure you keep them all lined up with the same side up, up, up. Okay, and the blade. But with any kind of glue, is it's good to kind of smudge it around. Makes for a really good bond. I didn't smudge it around there. But you attach it and then you kind of wiggle it a little bit and then set it in place. So now check the handle and the blade for fit. Trim it if you need to. But try to keep it still a snug fit. It'll be for the strength of the sword. But uh, I think with the template I made it a little big. So just trim it a little bit as you need to. So it fits. And then put some glue in there and glue it in place. I picked mine up before it was dry, see it? So let me get that back in there. And then let it let it cool. And then it'll be a nice strong fit. And the nice thing about it, the same with the sword, the actual metal sword. You know, the medallion, I guess you call it, we'd call it the half medallion. Or the half moon that we uh, uh, glue to both sides actually adds to the strength. So it's a strong uh, build, which I like. And it's also a big build. This is a pretty big sword. You know, a two-handed broadsword. And we've maximized our use of foam board, which is nice. You know, we have that blade part is almost 30 inches long. Two-handed two handle. So we end up with a pretty big sword that's pretty strong because it's three layers. And it's assembled in a way that, that maintains some good strength with it. So you can, you know, swing it around a bit. Use it a little bit. Without it being delicate. So you glue those half medallions on, one on this side and one on the other side. And next we're going to paint it. So we'll listen to a little bit of music while I'm painting it. You don't need me to explain to you. You can see what I do here. It's not a whole lot to it. Easy paint.
So now let's do um, the detail work. Spread some. If you have glue stick, it actually works pretty good for this because the glue stick tends not to wrinkle your paper. You'll notice in the if you look really close later on in the video, you'll see my paper wrinkled a little bit because I used a gel glue. And I wasn't cautious enough with it, but you know if you take your time, you spread that glue out evenly, you'll get a nice application. So glue the medallions on, and then glue the um, crossbar pieces on. And uh, the, you know these are in the template. I give them to you, and I'm going to show you how to uh, freshen them up a little bit too. But you could always draw your own on if you're creative or you want to be artistic or you would like to do it. You can draw your own, but mine, mine in the template just makes it easy for you. You know, it's a fun little sword. I like um, Highlander and I like the sword. And there's two other swords that I'm pretty sure I'm going to make from the Highlander series and movies. And, you know, the Kurgan sword. I like that Kurgan sword because it has like that spring loaded little blades come out of it. That'll be a nice challenge we'll probably do with rubber bands. But it'll actually work. And then the katana, which of course is kind of cool. So those will be coming up. I'm pretty sure I'm going to do those. Oh, so listen, let's make the collet for the sword now. This isn't in the template, but cut yourself a little piece of um, a strip of foam board like this and peel off the top layer of paper, one layer of paper. That peeled away layer will go against the sword. So we, we're looking at the paper part of it right now. The, the pure foam is touching the actual sword. So wrap that around like this and glue it in place. Trim it and then glue it in place and then paint it gold. And let's do some detail work. Have some fun with this. You could even wrap the handle before you put the collet on. You could wrap the handle with a, a thin brown cloth, which would be kind of nice. And then wrap wire or, you know, do as much detail as you want. I just went with the simple uh, brown paint and some black lines. Now use a fine line marker or some kind of a really fine tip marker to uh, brighten up the lines in the in the in the ornamental work here, it makes a big difference. It looks a lot better, you know, because of the gray color in the paint. See how much better it's already looking, but let me show you another trick. Apply some, with a pencil, apply some graphite to it, and then use a smudging stick to smudge it, and that'll this will give it a more metallic look. Just a, around the edges and around the letters and around the various figures. It kind of gives it an embossed, raised look, which is kind of nice like that. But a smudging stick is called a tortillon, T-O-R-T-I-L-L-O-N, I believe. I do have a tutorial somewhere on how to make one just by rolling paper. But it's a neat little tool if you don't have one. And that's it. Our McLeod sword is done. Thank you very much. Um, got lots more stuff coming. Hit that subscribe and like button.